Okay, guys, it's your favorite educator, Idon Asadusa, aka the Dean. Okay, this time around, I intended to show you guys based on my last video, I mentioned that I was gonna show you guys how I do that dramatic black and white image. A lot of people have been asking questions, so I decided to share it with you guys. Okay, let's get it started. But before I start, go like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. That's the only support I need from you guys for now. Thank you. So as you can see, there are variations, different, different ways of, you know, getting to achieve that dramatic black and white image. For me, I have just one technique which I use and I think it's a very short and simple technique. So I want to share with you guys. First of all, you have, you have your images, a raw image. You can see what it looks like. It's a raw image. Yes, that's it. And next thing you want to do is clean up all the blemishes and keep the skin in a very good place. You know, so he has good skin already. We just took out the blemishes eh? and we're good to go. So this is how simple it is. Once you have done the blemish thing, the next thing you do is to come to your adjustment layers and then add black and white. So you add black and white to your image. I normally use the default. And as you can see, this is not as great as, you know, what we are trying to achieve because this is the regular black and white. Um, I'm just going to merge this with this one and create a stamp visible layer so we can come back to that reference, you know, take out the black and white. I'm going to duplicate this. So this is going to be like my before. So I let that be there. So let's work with this. Right. So first thing I do is come to filter and camera roll. It's a thing of just pushing a bit of sliders and then you're good to go. But let me explain. So what I do is I push my contrast in a little bit. So let's, let's get it all the way to 58. That's fine. You can see that it just adds contrast to the image and that doesn't end there. I open up all my shadows and I'm going to take it to 58. There's no particular number, but I just don't like to stretch it too much. Okay, that's fair enough. And then I want to open up my white a little bit and then pull down my blacks. Once I do this, I look at the overall exposure and see if this works for me. So once I pull down my blacks and I'll open up my exposure a little bit, depending if I want it to be a brighter version of it or I want it to be a, a darker version right so I pull up my exposure and then gradually pull in my blacks okay yeah so I get to texture so let me zoom and show you what this does so I'm going to add a bit of texture to it to the skin you see how rich that is and by the way I'm using Camera Raw 14.5, so you may want to update your Camera Raw. Then I'm going to add a bit of clarity to it. Let's say 15. You can see what that looks like already. And I can show you the before. See the before and after. So that's what it looks like. But I'm just going to open this all the way up into my Photoshop panel. 
Next thing I want to do again is do the final step, which is come to Kamara Raw again. And then stretch it a little bit. So this time I'm going to put up my contrast. All right. Open up my shadows. This time around, I'm not going as much as I did previously. Pull down my blacks. And open up my whites a little bit. I'm not going to touch textures and clarity at this point. So I look at the overall image and see if I need to put up my exposure a little bit more. So drag my blacks down, exposure a little bit more, drag my blacks down. So there you go. All right, so I can leave it at this point, but let me show you how I take it to some other level. So the next thing I may want to do is Command J on a Mac, that's duplicate. And I'm going to go to filter, other and high pass radius should be 500 and I just click OK and then change your blend mode to soft light take your opacity all the way down to zero and then gradually begin to introduce it into the image I think about 13 is fine and let me merge it down together. And here you go. You can see the real black and white, how soft it is. And you can see how this is very, very dramatic. See? When I'm done, I'll go to my panel and then add sharpening to it. And my sharpening, I normally reduce it to half, which is like 50%. I want to zoom to see what it looks like. I think it's too much. Let's do 30%. That's about it. And there we go. You see? Next thing I want to do right now is go to my bone and I just want to exaggerate everything that feels like a natural scar you can see here. So bone, I'm going to leave it at one. Use my brush and just bone. Just trying to bring out everything that looks like a natural mark on the skin. So, just to exaggerate it a little bit more. So I think I like the image the way it is. It's as simple as this. Once you're done, you can merge it. You can actually see before and after, before and after. So let me zoom it in for you to see. Before, see, great. Okay, so hope you guys learned one or two things there. And I hope to see a lot of you do dramatic images like this and post it. Thank you very much. Once again, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like. If you have any other technique you use.